Clare and Clare Maths, this one was from 2019 paper one, National Five Maths. And it was asking a question about a ball getting kicked off a cliff. And it asked us, when will the ball hit the sea? Bit of a strange one, that one. So let's have a look at this one and see how we solve that one. Again, it's an unfamiliar context, so that is what makes it difficult. So here's a picture of the actual question. It says a ball was kicked from a cliff top, and its height is given by this equation. H is 12t minus 5t squared. But A, calculate the height of the ball above the cliff top after two seconds. Have a look and see if you can solve that. Then part B, continue the graph below represents the height of the ball relative to the cliff top after T seconds. It says the C is 17 metres above the cliff top. After how many seconds will the ball hit the C? Have a look, see if you can solve that. Okay, the solution to the first problem. Calculate the height of the ball after two seconds. Well, we've got an equation. The height is 12t minus 5t squared. And they want t equal to 2 because it's 2 seconds. So it's just a substitution question in an unfamiliar context. So the height would be 12 times 2 minus 5 times 2 squared. That's 24 minus 4 fives is 20. So that gives me an answer of 4 meters for one mark there. Okay, part B. This gives us the graph relative to the cliff top after t seconds. The sea is 70 meters below. After how many seconds will the ball hit the sea? Well, just remember our equation for the height was equal to 12t minus 5t squared. But we know that this must equal minus 17 because it's going down by 17 from the start. So that means we just need to say that that equaled 17 minus 17 for one mark. And that's difficult to see if you're not sure of the context of the question. Part two then says once we've got our equation, we just need to solve that equation in a normal way. So this is a quadratic so if I move everything to the right hand side, I'll get zero on this side. I'll get 5t squared minus 12t minus 17. Or in the more familiar way, 5t squared minus 12t minus 17 equals zero. So that's a quadratic that we can now solve. There are two main ways to solve a quadratic. We can use the quadratic formula or we can factorise. Now, since this is a non-calculator paper, chances are that this will factorise. I'm going to show you my method of factorising at this point, see how you can follow along. So what I do, if I use a different coloured pen, if I times 5 and 17 together, 5 times 17, well, that equals 5 sevens is 35, 5 ones is 5, so that means 85. I'm looking for factors of 85, okay? There's not many options, but we need to add or take away to make 12. So let me start listing them in order. I've got 1 and 85. Well, they don't add or take away to make 12, the middle number. 2 clearly doesn't go into it. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 doesn't go into it. The next one that goes into it is 5, because it ends in 5. 5 and 8 goes 1. 3 left over. 5 sevens is 35. Now, if you look and stop here for a moment, you should realise that 5 and 17 times together in to make the 85 that I've just found out, but the add or take away to make minus 12. So remember, now we're just trying to make minus 12. So to make minus 12, is our key number, that equals minus 17 plus five. So if we draw a box at this point, we have got 5t squared, and then we're splitting up our middle term into minus 17t, plus 5t, that gives us my minus 12t, and then at the end, I've still got my minus 17. So now we can just factorise each line in column. So factorising this, 5t squared and minus 17t, the only common factor is t. But going up and down the way, the common factor between 5t squared and 5t is clearly 5t. Now it's like a Sudoku puzzle, t times minus 17 is minus 17t, so it's minus 17. And 5t times 1 is 5t, so it's plus 1. My factors have dropped out. So in the end, after all that work or any method you prefer for factorising, you get 5t minus 17. 
and you get t plus 1, and that equals 0. And if you can get to that power, you can get a mark there. First, the final thing to do is to solve that and work out your t's. So for the first one, you've got, from this one, you've got 5t minus 17 equals 0. That means that t must be 17 over 5 seconds. And then the other one, you've got t plus 1 equals 0. So t must be minus 1 seconds. But time is positive. So t minus 1 is invalid. So there is our final solution. 17 over 5 seconds is the one we're selecting as our final answer.